Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, we deliver tennis right to your front door. Order today and it ships today. The Asian swing saw major mood swings in Nick Kyrgios. In a disrespectful performance, Kyrgios blatantly tanked at times in a Shanghai Rolex Masters loss to qualifier Misha Zarev. Nick was hit with an audible obscenity warning and feuded with both the chair umpire and the fans. A disinterested Kyrgios did not even make an effort at times. When a fan urged him to try harder, Kyrgios barked, you want to come out here and play? Sit down and shut up and watch. Yikes. It all added up to an apathetic loss that lasted just 48 minutes and ended with Nick insulting Shanghai fans, saying if you don't like it, just leave. Well, fans booed and jeered the 12-seated Kyrgios for tapping his serve like a hacker to drop serve and prompt this warning from chair umpire Ali Nil. Nick, you can't play like that, okay? Nick wasn't exactly contrite after that mess as he continued to lash out at the fans. I'm, I'm what? I'm, 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 what does that even mean? I'm good because I'm hitting, a, I'm good at hitting a tennis ball over the net, like, big deal. Like, I don't owe him anything. Like, it's my choice. If you don't like it, I don't ask you to come watch. Just leave. If you're so good at giving advice and so good at tennis, why don't you? Why, why aren't you as good as me? Why aren't you on the tour? The ATP though struck back, hitting Kyrgios with a $16,500 fine for violating the ATP code of conduct. The ATP fined Kyrgios the maximum of $10,000 for lack of best efforts, $5,000 for verbal abuse of a spectator, and $1,500 for unsportsmanlike conduct. As we tape today's news, Nick had avoided a suspension. Hours after the match, Nick tweeted out this brief apology, hashtag still a work in progress. One of the most troubling elements of this meltdown is it came just days after Kyrgios completed a brilliant performance, beating Gail Monfils and David Goffin back to back to win his third title of the season in Tokyo. Asked his reaction, world number one Novak Djokovic said that Kyrgios is one of the greatest talents in the game, but he says the 21-year-old Aussie has some life lessons to learn. Novak says not much is said about him positive lately, and he says he's sorry to hear that because he shares the opinion of a lot of players in tennis and around the world that Nick is just a great talent and he's got huge potential. Novak says he's been doing well, and you've got to give him credit for that, but on the other hand, he obviously has some life lessons to learn. He's still relatively young, so hopefully that will happen. In 2016, Kyrgios has posted a career best 39 wins, captured three titles, and reached his career high rank of number 14. The question though is, can Nick mature and exhibit the dedication, desire, and discipline required to become a Grand Slam champion? Or will the self-destructive Nick continue to be his own worst enemy and implode in pathetic performances. Mate, there is music playing in the crowd while we are playing. Kyrgios admits he has a tormented relationship with tennis. So, what do you think? You think Nick will realize his great gift and become a Grand Slam champ, or will he continue to blow up under the pressure of all the expectations? And which coach do you think is best equipped to help Nick? I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.